Hi guys, another seemingly complicated question which falls under the category of would have heard elimination technique is given on the rightmost part of your screen under the column headed prelims 2022 question. So this would have heard technique we have uh, already discussed in this uh, uh, question where we were required to uh, identify the nitrogen fixing plants. If you have not watched that video first, I would strongly suggest you to watch that video and then only come to uh, this particular question. In this question, it was uh, a question of history and uh, we were given three freedom fighters. One name we have heard that is Ras Bihari Bose, but the other two names we have not heard. These two names are not given in the books and the question wanted you to identify who of these three were actively associated okay actively associated with the gadar party and then of course you have the various options now i started this video by saying that this question falls in the would have heard category so why are we looking for that approach to solve this question because questions like these are otherwise very difficult to solve if you solve uh, try to solve these questions through knowledge it is virtually impossible because any name could be given anything could be given and we are not phd scholars that we would be you know uh, reading so many things and knowing so many things it's not possible for uh, a student to know this kind of information in a span of a year or so right uh, uh, a 21 year old preparing for this exam very difficult to know all of these things in fact the students who have given many many attempts those people also would not be knowing these names just some random names have been given right so to solve this kind of questions we follow the would have heard elimination technique and uh, in this question the catch is this phrase actively associated right so the three names that have been given the question wants you to identify those which have been actively associated with the gadar party the prominent uh, persons associated with gadar party have been asked so what does this mean you will be knowing the prominent person's names right if it is a prominent person you would surely be knowing it and of course the assumption is you have read your ncrt's well you have read your ncrt's properly if you read the old uh, ncrt of modern history under this gadar uh, party uh, uh, the pages where about gadar party uh, information has been given you have all of these names different names are there regarding this party and these are of course the prominent members right so if you you have gone through your standard books you are not required to read anything exotic anything you know very special or foreign just stick with your basic books you read them multiple times so that you know what is there in the books the pyqs will help you in ascertaining what kind of information can be asked in what way right and beyond that of course elimination is also going to help in these kind of questions i am forced to share with you these elimination techniques which is actually beyond the scope of these videos because these questions otherwise cannot be solved i can't say that you read the ncrts or you read xyz material you will be able to solve this question because tomorrow something completely different could be asked about some other organization right so my objective here is to help you with an approach how to think about these kind of questions this of course is just based on my experience my perception about these questions and how to in my uh, humble opinion best approach most efficiently approach these questions i want want you to study less number of books but study them more number of times this is the key to solving uh, to cracking prelims so the question wants you to identify the actively associated members with gadar party you would surely have heard about the actively associated members if you come to the list ras bihari bose as we have discussed we have heard this name he was a revolutionary terrorist person right revolutionary terrorism uh, was uh, in in the early part of the 20th century it was uh, in vogue in during the indian freedom struggle so ras bihari bose's name lala hardeyal's name all of these people uh, this uh, bhakna uh, sardar uh, sikh person right i'm not sohan singh bhakna i think uh, many other names also are there right so if it is a revolutionary person it's very likely that this person would be associated with Gadar party even if you don't exactly know whether it 
this person was with other party or not because we are looking at the spirit of that organization which is revolutionary overthrow of the british of the colonial government so if a person has got a revolutionary uh, past that person can be associated with other party so this ras bihari bos if you have read the ncrt this name is mentioned in the context of gadar party also but otherwise also generally if you don't know whether this person was with gadar party or not but if you know that this person was a revolutionary person then you can safely assume that this person would be associated it's highly likely that this person would be associated with gadar party third uh, statement should be there in the answer and third is there only in two options charlie and delta now the only difference between charlie and delta is the first statement and first is barendra kumar ghosh this name we have never heard this name is not given amongst the prominent names amongst the prominent revolutionaries in our books if it is not given and the question is asking you actively associated with gadar party so there is a very high chance this person would not be associated with gadar party right the would have heard approach so if he were associated we would have heard about it if we have not heard about it that means this person probably was not associated this is how this approach this elimination technique works so the first uh, statement barendra kumar ghosh highly unlikely so we eliminated the best answer to this question if at all if you have the risk appetite the best answer to this question would be delta 3 only as a comparison i have a question from 1996 here look at the names Shri Arbindo Ghosh, Lala Hardeyal, C R Das, V D Savarkar, all prominent names, right? All names actively associated with the first part of the list, which talks about these various organizations: Sabina Bharat, Tanushilan Samiti, Gadar Party, Swaraj Party, right? So, I'm just giving you as a comparison because if a person is actively associated with any party, any uh, activity, any organization, you will surely have read about it, and the evidence is here. all of these four names and all of these parties you have heard right these are important enough to find a place in your book so you would know about these if you don't know about something in the context of something very prominent it's likely that that thing which you don't know is not related to that prominent thing right so i hope i'm making some sense here it's not getting too confusing if you feel uh you know you you would want to know more about these kind of elimination techniques i have a separate course for that you will have to uh, join my official telegram channel for that and just ping me just message me over telegram i'll share the details with you this question and in fact the theme of gadar uh, party uh, has been asked multiple number of times uh, since 1979 i'll put all of these questions in the pdf and uh, Uh, the pdf cost rupee is 99 all the detail regarding uh, the purchase of this pdf will be given in the description of this video thank you for joining me today see you next time